cold. All right. All right, let yeah. me turn off my air conditioner here. All right. So, I am chilling with my man, James Ewitt Anton, and uh, we're doing a name reading. It's been a while. <laughs> I've had you on my channel before. You're a very open-minded person. You know your stuff about numbers. You want to say how you met me, what your interests are, where you are in your life? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the first, um, I mean, the first uh, time that I was, I think I saw your channel, you were yelling about, like, um, I think you were telling people to just like uh, unsubscribe, like if they didn't like it, because something about someone probably like sent um, sent one of the like uh, complained about you or something. So you were like, yeah, I know that one. That was about um, it, it was about. Listen, I don't judge anyone's life. I used to eat animals. I used to do a lot of stuff that wasn't spiritual, so called. So what I was saying was. If you're not walking the path and you're pretending to walk the path and then you watch my videos and you're still doing things that might make it hard for you, then don't watch my videos. But I'm over that now. Anyone can come. I don't care. So now I'm going to get into your name. Your name came to the number 31, James and Anton. So that can be flipped to 31 or the number 13. So what this is going to do is it's, it's for past life, amnesia, or it could relate to someone today in that age range, 31. Is there anyone that relates to you with 31 or 13 before I go further? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. No, but. Okay. Now, 31 is also four. Okay. For the forehead, foresight, forearms. And to get personal foreskin, the lower regions of life. Does the number four, and it can be in any way, does number four mean anything or relate to you at all? Number four. Um, Think childhood. Yeah, I'm not really, I mean, I'm trying to think four, not really. Do you ever roll dice? Well, I've got actually four names, so I have two middle names, so. You have two middle names, so you have four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever play with numbers? Do you ever roll dice? Um, every once in a while, like, I haven't for a long time, though. Do you know anyone who likes to roll the dice and gamble with life and... <laughs> Let's just say put people in dangerous situations because four is fire. We call it the burner. We call it the heat. We call it hotness. We call it danger. So before I go any further, we have connect four. There was a game we used to play with the, the four squares. You bounce the ball and shit and do all that stuff. Yeah. So is there anyone that we're dancing with? We'll keep it simple without getting too personal. Are we still dancing with fire? Do we have any past energy of trauma? Of course we do with you. Yeah. So just just break down and just let us know where you are with that with the fire. Well, um, um, yeah, I mean, my feet burn like hell, like you know when they uh, get get all get all huge and shit. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I, I'm like a gambler at heart. I'd say, like, definitely, I like to push things and like do some crazy shit sometimes. So. <laughs> of course. So now, um, can you please explain what your condition is? You have an inflammation condition. Yeah, it's called RSD or CRPS, and uh, it's like a neurological thing, and okay. um, it just like like it, it's mostly caused by like stress. Like yeah, the last, the last time it happened, um, I was having trouble with my uh, passwords on my computer. <laughs> of course. And like, I was fucking with them all day. And like, I don't know, like, it just, it just like, get, it gets really bad, like to where I can't even like stand up or even put my feet down into the carpet or anything. Like I'll have to just like lay there or sometimes I can't even lay down and I'll have to like sit in a chair, like with my feet dangling. <laughs> okay, so in the tarot, this will blow your mind. Your character in the tarot, like the magic of the gathering for you nerds. We love you nerds. You Pokemon people who are running around 
trying to find eggs. We love you. It's all tarot. It all came from ancient times, and we are getting past our amnesia, spiritual amnesia. Your character for number four is the stabilizer, can undertake, meaning your feet, difficult or unpleasant tasks. A faithful friend. Do you have any difficult tasks you still have to do? Meaning, have you had closure with your family? I'm sure there's drama in there or abuse. Have you taken the responsibility within yourself to handle anything within your family? Um, well, today we went to, I actually went to church with him just because my mom wanted me to. Um, it was a year ago my dad died. Oh, bless. Like, yeah, thank you. And so now your dad passing, is there any unresolved issues? I'm sure there are uh, that you might have had. Your mom, did you see anything? I'm only doing this to just basically have you purge yeah. and just talk about stuff that's painful. So go ahead. Yeah, I mean, like I owed him some money and shit like that. And like uh, just okay. some unresolved things. This will blow your mind. Guess what your color is? Your color is green for the number four. You owe him money? No, you owe him the spiritual path. See, this is the thing about debt. Debt is um, a very flexible word, okay? We have a debt to society, they say. Okay, we're in debt to someone. We're in debt our whole life. Why? Every day we get up, we are spending our time, yes or no, John, James, pardon me. Yeah. We are spending our energy. You notice when you say you're tired, you say you're spent. How do you get your money back or your spiritual money back? Green would be chlorophyll. So I encourage you, James, please go, if you can, monitor your diet. Less is more. I don't care what you eat. You do what you need to do. We don't need to get into all of that. But you know how I am about vegetables and trying to avoid the animal kingdom. So green means this as well. Walking barefoot on grass earthing do you do any barefoot walking outside uh, yeah i do that occasionally occasionally brother do it every day yeah you have to for sure all of us do for at least 10 minutes a day gravel is good rocks they all have your minerals we are wasting our energy with our computer i see you smoke cigarettes i understand yeah. that is your fire that is your four but you must earth and try to eat more plants so then we'll get into also the stars. Your Mercury, Uranus, and Saturn are your um, orbs. They're not planets. Only Earth is. Mercury's messenger. Uranus would be your, your colon and Saturn. Do we have any gut issues, James? Gut, stomach problems, digestion, anus, Uranus. Um, no. I mean, my stomach sticks out a little bit, but that's just... Uh, lack of exercise. I mean, I just started riding a bike um, this week. Good for you. Now I'm going to get more personal. Uranus also deals with possibly rape. Do you know anyone who was a victim of, of uh, sexual abuse? Or have you been? And once again, I'm not trying to get too personal. It's just to get you to purge if you can. Yeah, I mean, I had one thing happen to me, but I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, no problem. So pardon me. So just to, I had a call come in. So you don't have to say what it is. So you just confirm with me that something happened to you with abuse and sexual energy, yes or no? Yeah. Okay. I'm grateful that you're talking to me. Here's why we're doing this now. I encourage you, James, if you can, to at some point find a creative way to talk about that, because I know that you're into music. Um, and you don't have to do this, but it's healing because it's still going to fester. It's like cancer, right? Or for me, I have tons of scar tissue from years of being dumb and ignoring my body and I'm limping. So emotionally, we may still have some scar tissue there. So you want to look for people that have suffered and have a hard time talking about it. And I think that you're here to help heal them. I mean, I know that you want to heal people, but I think sexual abuse, man, in all of my name readings, James, is the biggest elephant in the room. How do we deal with it? It's hard. Well, we have to find creative ways to express it to heal other people. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, so we'll stop there. And thank you, man, for being open and at least telling me that much because that was very brave of you. Your character is also the emperor, meaning a male uh, figure, authority figure. This is definitely your father or it could be your grandfather. It's a military looking person, the emperor. Do we have any issues with control, military energy? I'm sure you have military energy in your life. Talk to me. Um, one of my uncles was a pilot in World War II. 
Wow. One of your uncles, a pilot in World War II. Powerful. Yeah. So this is he still alive or is he passed away? No, he passed away okay. like years ago. So he's speaking, well, he or whatever you want to call them. They're speaking through this reading, and I'm grateful that you're dancing with this energy. Your um, astrology here is Aries, Scorpio, and Jupiter. I forget. What sign are you again? Sagittarius. And who rules Sagittarius? Jupiter. <laughs> we are on fire. Four is the fire. We are simply rekindling the fire in case we get burnt out. We may have low self-esteem. Esteem requires heat. Heat requires confidence. These are metaphors to uplift you and to encourage you, James, to keep going. Do not give up. Don't let anyone distract you because they will. Scorpio is the sexual energy. Do you have any ex-lovers that are still haunting in your head and your heart? Any, we, we all do, I do as well. Do you have any unresolved sexual partners issues, possibly? Um, no. Okay. Do you have any, do you have any one right now that there's frustration or sexual or pent up frustration? No. You sure? No, I, I haven't been, I haven't been dating for a while. What about past lovers? Um, it's been a while. We right? have amnesia. Remember, we have amnesia. You say no too quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the industry. We won't say what kind you're in. We know that you were in the industry. You mean to tell me you did not have any interesting sexual experiences that might have burned you or enlightened you? I'm only asking you that for the people out there, the alphas who struggle with their, let's just say, sexual past. Talk to me about it. Um, no, not really. <laughs> like, I, I, like, it was pretty much like all business and like didn't really have time for any kind of relationship. So, I mean, like, I didn't make any time for it. Okay. We'll come back to that because I know that you've had relationships. Everyone has a haunting ex-lover. You have no ex-lovers that are, that are still sort of in the memory bank, possibly floating in the ether? No, I mean, like, I have, like, an ex I still talk to. Okay. But, Got you. Like, we, we stayed good friends after we dated. Great. Well, that's, well that's, 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 that's wonderful. So your symbol is the square. What about boxing skills, square dancing? Do you move? What? Talk to me about the square. Does it mean anything to you? Um, no, not really. Uh, I play basketball and football, baseball, diving, swimming, like all that kind of shit. I'll tell you what the square means to me, and you're going to laugh at this. Earth is the cube in geometry, and I'm doing that dance with you because I know what you think about the Earth. I don't care. We're still cool. So just know that that's there to say, ha-ha, geometry wins. Now, your animals are an eagle, a frog, and a ram. I repeat, an eagle, bird, frog, and a ram. Do we have any unique experiences with uh, pets or animals? I'm a big eagle fan. <laughs> Talk more about that. Uh, I used to go watch football games with my dad and shit like that. He had season tickets. Okay, so if you can, spend time watching birds barefoot in the green. Chlorophyll, the money, is your nature. That's it. Now, your color is purple. Does the color purple mean anything to you? Yeah, um, I like Amethyst a lot, and uh, I'm a Lakers fan. <laughs> oh, you're a Lakers fan. Ah, ah fantastic. So basketball. Right now. <laughs> now, your master, all of these numbers have a master, okay? The master would be El Morea, a Spanish name, M-O-R-E-Y-A. So now I'm going to ask another simple question. Do we have any Latino friends in our life that have influenced us? We all pretty much do. Let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you give me the name? Uh, Danny. Danny. Perfect. So you want to encourage Danny. You want to bond with Danny if you can. And once again, this is for to promote healing. If you can get Danny to express something painful without forcing it, that would give you great karma. And that is the truth movement. The truth movement is more than watching videos. We all do that. We share videos. We love drama. But we have to live the truth. Yes or no, James? Yeah. 
This is why my name reading is the truth. I'm working with a human being, not just talking to a screen and getting views and going viral. I could give two shits because people are dying and depression is kicking our butts. So you are the first ray, the ray of the divine will. El Morea is this. It is red and blue. Any police issues, and you don't have to get too deep about that, but have you had interesting, let's say, experiences with the red and blue people? Um, I've been pulled over a few times, and... Of uh, course. You know what being pulled yeah. over means? When you're pulled over by red and blue, you know, you know what a tourist field is, James? Yeah. The red and blue rainbows? You know what happened when you and I got pulled over? We were being initiated, James. They didn't even know what they were doing. With the whoop, whoop, it's all a mantra. It's all rituals. We were being tested. That's why we have testicles. And I'm, I'm assuming that you passed with flying colors because you are not in jail. I am not in jail, and we have not had any yeah. pull. I mean, I got my license back. I just, I had a DUI, like, from my medication. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Listen, no judgment here. Thank you for saying that. Okay. It is the heart chakra and the throat chakra. Do we have, I mean, I'm sure you're a pretty young guy. Do you have any heart issues or throat issues? Or do you have any unique stories about anyone with a heart issue or a throat issue? Um, my dad had a heart attack. That's, that's how he died. He had actually, one when he was 42, and his dad also had a heart attack at like 46. Wow. But what, 46? Like that's my age. Yo, that's my age. Hare Krishna, that's my age. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't have any heart problems though. Like good. I, I've been taking, I take like good care of myself pretty much. All right. Like I, my diet's always been good, like low salt and stuff like that. All right. Like I just stopped eating. Like I haven't eaten like any pig, and like I haven't eaten red meat for a while. But uh, I still have turkey and chicken. <laughs> Well, you want to be careful with the turkey and chicken only for this reason. You got birds in your number. Birds are sacred. They're on the flag. And uh, you have something in your skull called the crista. Galley in Latin means the crest of the rooster or a bird. So this is how I uh, t treat the diet without making someone feel bad or attacking, right? When you are thinking of symbols, your food are symbols of you. And they build you up or they break you down. It's very simple. When you're looking at the animal kingdom, I'm just gonna say this, and once again, you have your reality, I respect that. When you look at birds, my brother, just know, this is a symbol that's meant to be built up outside of you, looked at and learned from and not put into the temple, because you already have that. Meaning, in Hinduism, a lot of animals choose a human body. This is why they, they're, they're supposed to be left alone. For example, in India, they never um, they only burn the human body because the human is the final result. They never burn the animal body before putting it in the Ganga River to give us an offering. Now, we don't have to be Hindu and believe in that stuff, but I do. And the reason why they don't burn the animal, all of them, is because it gives them the right and the freedom to possibly choose a human body in which when we eat them, we are simply distracting ourselves from that, but we move on from that. Your planet here is Mercury, the messenger and the Messiah. So speak your truth. Signs and symbols, you must get these if you can for in, in honor of all of your family members who had a heart attack. It is a deep red heart with a diamond at the center. Either you can draw that brother or try to find a heart symbol and some kind of a diamond, doesn't have to be real, and put it together, make a shrine for your father or for anyone in your family who has suffered a heart attack because heart is an anagram for earth. And when they suffer, we suffer. When they die, a part of us will die. How do we keep them going? Or how do we find a way to have closure? We do these kinds of name readings. We talk to each other to simply purge or not purge repressed energy. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. We are at 19 minutes. I'm just going to slowly ask you, how are you feeling so far about your reading? Uh, pretty good. Okay, thank you once again. Now I'm going to go back to uh, asking you a little more questions here. All right. Now, the divinatory meaning is a need to make something solid, to make something concrete to build something with a firm structure. 
So let's slow down, strong, to build up. Who do you know right now that is so broken, man, they can't function? Do you have anyone who's just so damn broken, they can't get it right, they don't know how to do it? Talk to me. Um, no, I mean, I've got a few people um, that I'm friends with that, like, are really trying to get, get it together. Like, they've had some, like, issues with, like, um, like, different people that, like, you know, shit happens. Like, um, my one friend, she lost her boyfriend. And, um, and one of my other friends, he, he just came back to town. He, um, I'm not sure exactly what happened yet because I haven't talked to him, but I know he's, he's like, um, trying to work and get a place and stuff like that. Got you. Now, purple is also linked to the number four. Purple would also be the purple heart. Isn't it funny how heart comes up a lot in terms of symbols? So I think that a lot yeah. of the core of this name reading for you is to encourage people to find the love within their heart and to heal people that have had a stroke. So if you can end up in retirement homes, James, retirement homes would love to have you. Because in retirement homes, all they're doing is they're drooling on themselves and they're being fed GMO foods and also in the hospital. So the human being today, you and me, can possibly find a way to reach the people who are, say, stuck, stuck or have clogged arteries. Now, art, artistic expression. What are you in terms of art? Um... Not really much of, like, I mean, like, I started trying to draw some stuff, and uh, I was, like, uh, writing a song. <laughs> it's, like, kind of, like, half, like, half-ass, but, I mean, like, I, I never, like, like wrote anything, really, so. Okay. Um, I don't think it's, like, appropriate for the time, because it's kind of, like, um, like a back and forth between like a Russian and Ukrainian kind of thing. <laughs> like, I sure. was, like kind of writing some like um, different skits and things like, like, I was, like ROC for like for the Olympic committee instead. Like I, I put like Russian all dark committee and like, it was just some funny stuff about like that skating incident that happened. Like that I was like, you know, doing a parody of <laughs> for, <laughs> What was the skating incident? Oh, okay. Um, the 15 year old that was supposed to win the gold, like the favorite for the gold medal, she um, accidentally took her like uncle's like heart medication or something. <laughs> and uh, they usually they they um, like disqualify the person for that. And so there was a whole bunch of crap going on about that. And they actually let her skate and she like fell a bunch of times, like during the, um, uh, the skating and, um, she, she didn't, uh, place. <laughs> wow. So, like the people were saying like they ruined like a 15 year old girl. <laughs> well, the key word there would be heart again, James, you notice how many times you're saying heart in this build. Yeah. So that might, that might also mean there's something possibly going on with your heart. So now I'm going to get into uh, healing and remedies. What the Ukraine is doing right now because of the economic san sanctions and what, what that does is cripple everybody. They are using their own urine to grow plants. This is a fact. You can look it up. Now, when you look up urine in etymology, you've seen my videos. Urine is your phosphorus, which grows everything and it builds the DNA fact. And urine in etymology, we know this, literally means Venus, the morning star. Why is it important to know these things? Because urine is the elixir that provides us simply the ability to put back in what we lost and to not see ourselves as gross, as ew, disgusting. That's, I wouldn't do that. That isn't very sanitary. Well, fast food is legal poison. It's not very sanitary. And what the hell is it doing in the ER of the hospital when a person has a damn stroke? They go to the hospital and they feed them a cheeseburger from the cafeteria with Coke and Pepsi, yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> right? So it is our time. 
So I, I encourage you strongly to look into urine therapy, especially for your condition of inflammation. I use it a lot. My hair grew back when I drank it. Once again, I'm not forcing it upon you, but look into it, man. Yeah, I've been I've been thinking about it. Like, okay, it's just like one of those metal blocks where it's yeah. like I, I can't do that. Like I can't drink that. <laughs> I understand that. But here's the thing. I'm going to have you think of it like this. Those cigarettes you're smoking right now are far more lethal than your urine, and I'm not judging you. Yeah. But if you can smoke cigarettes, this is a very good point, you can at least try your morning urine. Just try it one time. Just swish it in your mouth. It's also good for cavities. I I, I didn't... I, I, I heard they um used to brush their teeth with it and yeah. like... Yeah. to whiten their teeth of course because, uh, and like they used to get made fun of for it by i think that was in ancient rome or something like of that. course forget the story but of course and then in, in in ancient times native americans were using organic tobacco to also brush their teeth and their urine but you see they were not given corporate cigarettes so there's something here that wants us to get sick wants us to be confused and they've been they've been appearing in our life every age but they have not had let's just say a reincarnation of a human to really see how deep they are but it's a new day because i believe People like you and me are those reincarnations, and we are here to simply clean up the mess, yes or no, James? Yes. We are here to unclog the arteries. So urine therapy, look into your heart, earthing. Once again, you wanna get a symbol of a heart with a diamond. You want to watch birds more and be barefoot while you're doing it. We are at 26 minutes. I'm going to end this one now. Is there any last thoughts you want to say to anyone watching or about the reading or in general? Oh, uh, no, not really. I just want to say thank you. And I appreciate like the work you're doing. I really love your videos and stuff like that. Thank you, man. And I appreciate your support because it's very hard to get that in these days. I'm, I'm grateful that you're loyal. And um, once again, my people, we don't all have to agree to be friends and to like each other. We have to know how to deliver information, to share space, to change the world with different opinions. And that is what's killing us the most. The ego, I'm better than you, I'm more smart, I'm more truthy than you, I'm more astrology or I'm more earthy. Bullshit, we're all unified and we have to get over our amnesia and we have to promote high self-esteem. So I'm gonna say Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shiva Boom Om J A G and J A M E S and anyone else out there who is suffering or not and we end it there.